You may have heard that startup ideas are worthless and that execution is everything. Realistically, that's mostly true, except for if you have a really great idea, then execution is a multiplier on that. And if you have a crappy idea, no matter how strong your execution, the odds of you building an incredible business are stacked against you from the start. So that's why every couple of months on this channel, we roll out another video filled with SaaS ideas that are requested by real people who run real businesses and have real business problems. These days when a founder comes to me and wants to tell me their startup idea, I say, don't tell me your idea, tell me what problem it solves. So today I'm gonna run through seven app ideas for developers that could feasibly make you pretty wealthy. I'm Rob Walling, a serial entrepreneur with multiple exits. I've written four books on building startups, and I've invested in more than 150 companies. I know I've been saying almost 150, but I actually went and counted, and it's just over 150. Let's dive in. A brief disclaimer before we dive into these seven ideas. The first is that no validation has been done on these ideas. These are ideas that I've seen on the internet that have come to me through various sources you'll hear me mention, but I haven't gone out and vetted them. So before I moved on them, I would be looking how to evaluate and how to to validate them. We have many videos on this channel on that topic. Second thing is, if you look into these ideas, there may already be some tools in these areas. But in my opinion, that validates the problem even more. Because today's video is about ideas for developers that could make you very wealthy, meaning these are more ambitious than some micro SaaS idea that I might throw out. These come with high risk, high reward, less likely to work. But if they do work, they have the potential to get very large very quickly. The first idea today is to make a competitor to Plaid or Yodly that actually works. Do you pronounce it Yodly, Yodly? I'm not sure, but you get the idea. Go research Plaid and Yodly, Yodly. They are services that connect to banks around the country and they allow folks who build FinTech to plug into one service instead of having to do 100 integrations you know, with all the banks around the nation and around the world, presumably. The problem with these two offerings is that from everyone I hear who uses them, they're a pain in the butt and they don't actually work very well. And there's still a tremendous amount of dirty data and there are bugs and there's just a lot that doesn't work. I get that this is a complex problem to solve. You'd have to go all in on this. You would need to raise money. This is a huge endeavor. But I've seen the likes of Josh Pigford, who is the founder of Maybe, talk about about how not good these two competitors are. And I've heard from a couple companies I'm invested in how bad they are. This reminds me of trying to get your credit card merchant account before Stripe. It was a mess, it was hard to do, and no one could fix it, we thought. And then along comes Stripe and everything just worked and the product just worked. And I know that that wasn't easy for Stripe to do, but look at where they are now. So I know that for me, if I was gonna go after an ambitious idea that could potentially get huge, it would be something large like this with existing entrenched competitors that aren't doing a good job of serving the market. Second idea is one I heard on a podcast the other day. It's called Money for the Rest of Us. And the host, J. David Stein, talked about net worth trackers. So you plug them into all your financial accounts and they help you see how you are diversified or not across different portfolio drivers. So it might tell you you are overweight US stocks or you're overweight small cap US stocks or large cap or underweight mid cap. You get the idea. Basically, it's something to take out a bunch of manual work because folks like myself, I have a spreadsheet and at the end of every month, I go through it. I tally up the numbers based on things that have gone up and down, things we bought and sold. And I have an asset allocation percentage I'm trying to hit. And from what I've seen, and apparently from what J. David Stein has seen, there are no automated ways to do this well. It always comes back to doing it manually. And this ties into the first idea I gave just a couple minutes ago, but David Stein said that the reason that these net worth trackers don't work that well is because Plaid and Yodley don't work that well. And so these two go hand in hand. Personally, I know which one I would pursue if I was gonna pick one, but I know that some folks watching this like those, the B2C ideas and a net worth tracker is one of those that if it was great, if it went viral, if it was like a mint.com, it could grow very quickly. The third idea that I wish existed in the world, and it kinda does, but they're really crappy, is a service that would generate slides from prompts. So PowerPoint or keynote slides, it can generate an entire deck based on a long prompt or each individual slide based on a detailed description. I know that there are a couple out there you can probably link to, but they just don't work very well. I've tried them 
and I had to basically start over from scratch. You don't even have to AI generate the images in these. You could strike up a deal with a stock photo service or you can AI generate the images. It doesn't really matter. The thing is it has to work really well and you would need to tackle some specific use cases. I would give some thought to what are a few slide decks that people search for a lot in Google. I would start from those keyword searches and I would create templates and start trying to rank for them. And then I would try to build those use cases first. And I know that I need them to do conference talks about SaaS topics, but my guess is that's not very popular. And there may be a better business case for generating a slide deck from an Excel sheet, for example, or from a Microsoft project file, or a startup pitch deck, or a board presentation for my quarterly board meeting if I'm a venture funded company. There are some specific decks that people need often and to be able to pull from dirty data sources, which is something AI is really good at, and create slide decks that look good and you know can be tweaked and all that, but are at least a great starting point would be huge. And I'm not talking about these weekend projects. There's some that generate slides right now that are, you can tell it was someone spending four or five days writing some code, hitting the Dolly API. It's just not great. And so this would need to actually work, but it's an AI play, AI is hot right now. It's something that I wish existed in the world. For the next four ideas, I wanna give a shout out to Nugget.one and its founder, Justin Vincent, for letting me use these ideas to present them to you. The first is a platform to make HACCP paperwork easy. These are requested by actual people in real businesses, and so I'm gonna quote the requester. I work in agriculture production for a small plant. I need a software program to make my safety and HACCP plans easy to deal with. And for those not familiar with HACCP, as I was not, it's the Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point. Obviously, it has to do with agriculture production. Back to the requester. Right now, I waste 10 hours a week on repetitive, meaningless paperwork. I need a program to create all my paperwork electronically instead of having me handwrite each form. I would need the program to update annually to keep up with all the new regulations for my industry. I have looked for something that does this and it doesn't exist. I love niche plays like this. I have no idea about this market. I have no experience with it. But someone is experiencing a pain point that costs them 10 hours a week, 500 hours a year. If we do some quick math, if they make $100,000 a year, that's $25,000 in salary alone. If they make half that, it's still $12,500. Software like this could sell for an interesting price point if this is a common pain point in agricultural processing facilities. Next steps, try to have some conversations. Do other people have this pain point or not? Idea number five is a mobile app for hiring temp workers. The requester writes, there's huge opportunity to create a LinkedIn for temporary workers like construction workers. I spent two months deeply validating this idea and discovered that staffing agencies and construction companies spend 50 to $100,000 a year, I like price points like that, to try to fill these types of positions by posting on Craigslist, Indeed, and other sites. It's a huge pain point for them, and in their words, it is a nightmare. The perfect solution would be a mobile LinkedIn for those kinds of workers. I'm not a fan of social networks, I'm not a fan of building two-sided marketplaces, but I'm intrigued by this one. If you wanna go big, as the title says, if you wanna get wealthy, is an intriguing idea. And I would start by either building an audience on one side or figuring out where these folks hang around. If they're looking on Craigslist, if they're looking on Indeed, then I would probably go to those sites to try to bring folks into the ecosystem. Definitely more validation needed before I would pursue it. It's a super ambitious, but also an interesting idea. Idea number six is Amazon Seller Utilities. Before I read this, I know that Amazon Seller Utilities exist today. Listen to the poster. They have some very specific reasons why the existing ones don't work. The requester says, I work on amazon.com selling products. For the seller community, there is no one tool that does it all, but rather small tools that do small tasks. I would like to see a tool that helps search Amazon rankings for the best products, gives you quick data like Jungle Scout, then also does a reverse ASIN search, that's the Amazon product number, to find all competitive keywords, manage taxes and sales, an all around business tool at a great price. I have more ideas on how to make this work as well as how to make it well-rounded and complete. I've looked at Jungle Scout, Amaze Owl. They are smaller programs. So I have only limited experience in this space. I haven't been an Amazon seller, haven't built a tool for Amazon sellers. What the requester is asking for is a big bundle. It's what Salesforce has done. It's what HubSpot has done. They want a bundle. It's look, it's not gonna be a bunch of the best in class tools. That's the way bundles work. They, each individual piece is not that great. But what I'm curious about is if this poster has this problem, does anyone else or are they fine using Jungle Scout tied to some other tools that basically get the job done so that you can use multiple best-in-class tools 
and link them together? Or is there really a desperate pain point in the Amazon ecosystem for an all-in-one bundled tool like they're asking for? And the seventh idea for today is elastic search for tax accountants. The requester writes, I work as a tax preparer for a multinational corporation. We have a lot of trouble with our database software for fixed assets, giving us certain types of information that we end up needing to prepare certain returns. If there was some type of application that would allow us to sort and classify the assets based upon more precise criteria that would be more tailored to state requirements for calculations, it would end up saving a ton of manual calculation time. Current software that we use doesn't have as robust a filtering and report preparation as we would like. And we spend a lot of hours creating ad hoc reports that it seems like software should be able to pull for us. I believe that software with this functionality would be worth paying for. I'm not sure that leadership would agree. Ooh, this would be, this would be when you have to validate that the person writing the check is willing to pay for it. But a strong case could be made that the time savings would be worth the cost. I have searched through the various products offered. None seem to have something that is close to what we need. I'm not sure why. What I like about this idea is it seems like this is a pretty interesting job for AI. And searching through things, Elasticsearch, I mean, it, you know, it, it, I get it, it's a challenge, but you use an open source component, you apply a layer of AI over it. I think this is something people could build and it may have a moat around it even. It's gonna be something that's challenging to build, but as I often talk about land and expand, if it works for accountants, do attorneys then need it? Do other folks in professional service roles need a tool like this? Obviously the market could be tremendously large and if it saves a lot of person hours, even even just for accountants, you should be able to charge a pretty penny for it. In a second, I'm gonna recommend the next video you should watch on this channel. But before we do that, I wanna let you know that my book, The SaaS Playbook, is coming out soon. I ran a Kickstarter for it already. If you missed the Kickstarter, head to sasplaybook.com. It contains a compact 200 pages of everything I know about building a multi-million dollar startup without venture capital. If you're looking for even more SaaS ideas than I presented here, be sure to check out this video. I dive into six more SaaS ideas that could be the start to your next business. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.